sometimes love. Are, are we stuck? Yeah. Needs a oh. lift. Oh. Oh. You're a partner now. You're not dating a waitress. A little surprised to see with a girl like Libby. Weren't you just saying there's more to life than work? I lead a very structured life. Libby is the exact opposite. Lacey Chabert stars in the Hallmark Channel original movie, Elevator Girl. Coming up next on Hallmark Channel. And now, a Hallmark Channel original movie presentation. Bell's attorney. Uh, Mr. Schuster wants to set a lunch this week. I set it for Thursday. And uh, your chiropractor called back. You have an appointment tomorrow. What would I do without you? Probably wouldn't have made partner at Schuster, Baron, and Clyde. I love you. I'm swamped today. I already have four appointments. I still have to do payroll and come up with next week's schedule. Oh, well, that's what best friends are for. Yeah. You just remember that when you fill out those checks. You know, Lib, if you finally finish those classes, I could actually pay you as a massage therapist and not just a receptionist. Come on, you were so good at that four years ago. I I've got my hands full. I mean, after this, I'm DJing at Sunset, then I have a catering gig. God, I, I don't know how you do it. You have a different schedule every week, every day. Life is a journey, Tessa. I like to just enjoy the ride. <laughs> ah, look at this. College roommates' nuptials. Three weeks away. Mm. You know, actually, Rosemary, I can't make it to that. Oh, really? Well, I figured. So I sent your regrets and a blender. Very fancy all from. Nice. Jonathan, if you never see anything outside of the four walls of this office, how are you ever going to fall in love? Give me this. Nice. Rosemary, true love whatever that is, is for fairy tales and animated movies. Oh, that is so not true. <laughs> but you will be happy to know I, uh, I actually do have a blind date. Well, who are you allowing to play matchmaker other than me? Nick. Oh, Nick. Of all people, you think Nick knows what you need in a relationship? He's with me here all day at the office. You know, he knows how I tick. He's pretty much my best friend. Yes, Rosie, I am indeed his best friend, oh. and I do know what an up-and-coming attorney at law needs in a female companion. Really? Well, who is this woman? 
Cynthia DuPont. She's a, uh, a PR exec. Cynthia DuPont is a 31-year-old executive VP, okay? She, she's gorgeous. She has her MBA. She's perfect. How romantic. Come on, Rosie. I mean, Jonathan's about to be made partner. In just a few hours, he will be heralded by the powers that be of Schuster, Baron, and Clyde, ushered into the inner circle of couples' dinners, country club memberships, and full-time nannies. I mean, if he's going to play the part, he's got to have the right girl by his side. And you're the man to help him find her? Yes! I rest my case. Thank you, Rosemary. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody up. Let's see some dancing. Yo, I just moved. Nice. Nice. Good, good. Ooh, Donald. I think Lenore made it perfectly clear last week that she doesn't like it when you put your hand on her backside. I'm reconsidering. Pickens in this place are slim. <laughs> Harry. Harry, may I have this dance? Oh, you're such an angel, baby. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, see you later. Good evening, Mr. McIntyre. Doug, how are you? Just fine. Congratulations on your promotion. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good evening. Sir. You too. Take care. problem. Survive for centuries without them. Oh, great. Yeah, no dial tone. Nothing. Wow, it's a, it's a little claustrophobic in here. Yeah, yeah, it is a little um, stuffy in here. Huh? Well, it seems like we're going to be here for a minute, so maybe we should introduce ourselves. Yeah. Sorry, I'm uh, Jonathan McIntyre. Hi, Jonathan. I'm Liberty Taylor. And most people just call me Liberty. Or Libby. I mean, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Liberty. That's a uh, unique name. Yeah, my mom thought it would be, you know, a good way to remind me throughout my life that I could be and do whatever I want. Anything's possible. You know, that kind of thing. Well, that's a good message from a mom. Yeah, I think so. Well, I mean, you'd make a, a great defense attorney. You know, your name alone would inspire a lot of hope in your clients. Oh, is that what you do? Uh, yeah, attorney, yes, but uh, defense, no. I, I mainly do corporate law, mergers and acquisitions. Basically, if somebody wants to buy something or sell something or merge a, a company, I'm the guy who makes sure they're doing everything by the books. Oh. Oh, that, that, uh, that sounds really interesting. Does it? <laughs> you don't really think so. It's okay. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. I just no, no. Really... Don't apologize. It's fine. It's um, it's refreshing actually. I'm uh, I'm used to people telling me what I want to hear or what they think I want to hear anyway. Your honesty is a nice change of pace. Well, okay. In that case, then uh, your job pretty much sounds like a cure for insomnia. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you'll be patient just a little bit longer. We are so sorry for the inconvenience. Our valets are happy to carry luggage. If anyone would care to take the stairs up to your rooms. Drink. So did you always want to be a lawyer? No, actually. Um, growing up, I wanted to be a race car driver. <laughs> But, of course, that wasn't a very practical goal for the man of the house, so I, I reconsidered. Oh, you're married. Uh, me? No. Oh, no. <laughs> no, when I, when I said man of the house, I meant when I was a kid. Um, oh, right. My father passed away when I was young, and my mother raised me by herself, so... I'm sorry. Wow, that is... It's a lot of responsibility for a little kid. I, uh... No, school was always really easy for me. And when I realized... Not only could I get the jobs and, and scholarships I wanted, but that I had to, you know, to help out my mother. And I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I never talk about myself like this. I'm, I'm rambling. No. No, you're, you're sharing about your life, and it's interesting. So uh, what about you? I was raised by a single mom, too. Um, my parents split up when I was little. I wasn't that into school, though. Not like you. I was uh, more into the extracurriculars. Oh, such as? Well, I, um, I took all kinds of dance. I did a semester of ultimate frisbee. <laughs> I had a failed attempt on the soccer team, and I finally realized I really wasn't that athletic, so I moved on to music, where I played the flute, I played the sax. I took all kinds of art classes. Wow, you must be really creative. I don't know, I mean, I like to think so, yeah. But I'm sure you are too. I mean, your job just takes a different kind of creativity. <laughs> I'm sure there's an artist in there somewhere, just dying to come out. What? Okay, I don't, it might be the uh, frustrated race car driver in me, but... Oh, come on, Spill. I kind of like to, uh, I like to paint model cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of stupid, I know. No, no, it's not stupid. I mean, art's in the eye of the beholder, right? Yeah, right. I like that. Yeah. What about you? What's your, your next creative outlet? Well, honestly, I'm eight credits away from finishing culinary school. And if I would just go and finish, I, I don't know. I feel like I never have time. Oh, that's great, though. I mean, I can't cook a thing. I mean, I'm, when I'm working, I eat out. And when I'm home, I microwave all my food, so... Oh, it's terrible. Cooking is fun. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I can mess up toast. It too much longer, right? I mean... Oh, your, your tie is a mess. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do you want me to fix it? Yes, yeah. Thank you. There. You're perfect. Well, I don't know if I'd say perfect. I mean, I still can't cook, right? Right. Yeah, of course, if I'm, if I'm going to learn how to cook, I'd, I mean, I probably need someone to teach me. Do you know anyone that could do that, or...? Hmm, maybe. Yeah? I have to think about that. So this was, uh, this was fun, actually, yeah. being trapped in an elevator with you. <laughs> yeah, it was. We should do it again sometime. I mean, without the elevator, of course. Right, of course. Maybe a cooking lesson. Yeah, a cooking lesson. That would be nice. All right, well, um, I'll see you around. Okay. okay. Bye. Jonathan. Alan, you made it. How are you? Let's get you a drink. Yeah. Everything going okay? Yeah, fine. Good. Thank you. Good. We are here tonight to talk about a young man who I am very excited about and, and feel just privileged to have uh, 
in the four walls of our organization. And this young man has made his ascent in this firm seem practically effortless, with the exception of tonight when he was harshly overruled by a powerless elevator as he was trying to come up for the dinner. <laughs> So I welcome him as a new partner. I thank all of you for coming tonight. I hope you will enjoy yourselves. And without me standing here and, and pumping your head any bigger than it already is so that you'll ask for more money, I give you, ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan McIntyre. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Alan. OK. Before we uh, start today, I'd like to say a few things. Uh, I'd like to thank the founding partners for welcoming me as an equal to the firm that they helped build from the ground up. Uh, now all your names are at the top of the letterhead. I, uh, I know that and I won't forget that anytime soon. Um, but I will now as a partner uh, continue to represent Schuster, Barron and Clyde, the individuals and the firm to the best of my abilities. Alan, Richard, Grace, thank you so much for this amazing opportunity. It's a wonderful dinner. Uh, thank you all for being here and sharing this with me. It means a lot to me. I look forward to working many years with all of you here. Thank you. Yeah. Can everyone stand and let's have a salute? Cheers. 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 Congratulations on making a partner. It's very impressive for someone so young. Well, I'm no wonderkind, but uh, just a workaholic. Uh, yeah, well, I know what that's like. Oh. That's right, Nick said you're an executive VP at your firm. Uh, yeah, started out as account supervisor, and I worked my way up. Are you like me? All work, not enough play. <sighs> yes, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, yeah. You know, people like us, we're, we're achievers. Yeah, I mean, Princeton, Cornell, summa cum laude at both. You? Yale, Stanford. Just Yale and Stanford? <laughs> I bet you were at the top of your class, right? Breaking in the scholarships, law review. I knew it. Yeah, and now that we've both achieved so much, it's like we're, we're supposed to go out and get the rest of it. You know, marriage, kids, dog running around the backyard. But I, I don't know who has the time for it. Oh, well, I certainly don't. I mean, the only woman I talk to on a daily basis is my secretary. And she's old enough to be my mom. <laughs> well, I'm uh, probably a traitor to my gender, but I have really believed in all the fairy tale romance stuff they fed us as kids. That's funny. I was, I was just talking about that the other day. Yeah, right? I mean, we both worked hard to get into the right schools, to get the, the right degree, the right job, you know, the right house and cars and all that. I mean, you know, I think a relationship should be approached the same way. You, you meet the right person and you work at it. Yeah, a relationship is a partnership as well. And really, when was the last time you met someone and felt some immediate lightning bolt connection? <laughs> so, what's up? I met a guy. What? We got stuck in the elevator on the way to the catering event. The power went out. Okay, tell, tell. That's the thing, I don't know. He was so, like, sweet and charming in the elevator, and then he just totally ignored me at the dinner. He was really rude. Okay, wait, wait. So he was at the dinner where you were serving? Yeah, he was the guest of honor. He mm. just made partner in his law firm. Libby, that's it. He's got a snooty job. They don't talk to the help, you know? At least not in front of their snooty friends. I don't know. I mean, yes, he was definitely a buttoned-up kind of guy, but there was something about him. He was sweet. I don't know, Lib. It's no coincidence that you were put on that elevator. 
and it's no coincidence that it got stuck. There is a reason. And what reason is that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's so helpful. Thank you. Okay, all right. Um, maybe you were put on that elevator with that guy that night to learn a little something about yourself. Or maybe the lesson wasn't yours to learn. What do you mean? Who knows? Maybe Grumpy McGrumperton went home that night and learned a little something about his rude behavior from your shining example. How was your date? Cynthia, she's nice. I like her. Um, she's attractive. And you were right. We had a lot in common. Okay, so you weren't blown away. All right, but take her out on a second date. Like a real date. You know, you go to go to dinner, take her to the movies. It's not like there's anyone else you're interested in. Is there someone else you're interested in? Dude, do not hold out on me. I might have met someone at the partnership dinner. Her name's Libby. There were no single chicks at your partnership dinner. No, actually, we, uh... We got stuck in the elevator together on the way up. So did you ask her out? Uh, no, not exactly. Um, she's a culinary student, so... I don't know, I might have asked for a uh, cooking lesson. Smooth. Nice. But when we got off, it turns out she was a... a waitress for the dinner. Jonathan. Buddy. <laughs> Come on, forget about elevator girl, okay? Because you just became partner at one of the largest law firms on the West Coast. You're not dating a waitress. Your bosses are your peers now, man. I mean, you, you gotta be socializing with them and, and with the right kind of girl on your arm, you know? Uh, you know what you should do? Mm. You should host your own dinner party. I mean, you're one of them now, man. Huh? Yeah, I guess. Rosie! Jonathan's gonna host a little, uh, dinner... thing... at his place. Oh, well, you know what? You should invite Cynthia. Make it a second date. I'll bring Catherine. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Good idea. All right, well, I will leave you to it. Thank you. I assume you'll need a caterer. Yes. Jonathan, I couldn't help it over here. Are you sure you want to ask this Cynthia woman? I mean, it sounds to me like you hit it off with someone else. Well, I mean, I should see Cynthia again. You know, and besides, the other woman, I, uh, I screwed that up. You know, I, I was just, I was so surprised that she was actually working at the dinner. You know, I, I just felt weird talking to her. I was kind of rude. Anyways, wasn't meant to be, right? Oh, well, I don't know. I think... If it's meant to be, you might see her again. Perhaps. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll take care of everything. Thank you. You are never going to believe this. Guess what? I got a catering gig as the cook. Wow! I didn't know you were going to start a catering company. I, I wasn't, but this woman called and she said she got my name from the hotel. Oh, well, in that case, you know, that isn't creepy at all. Who is this woman? You gonna end up tied up in her basement somewhere? I hope not, but that's why maybe you should go with me and be my sous chef. Please. No. Please, please, please. No. I microwave exclusively. I just need you to help me prep and serve. It's really not a big deal, and I will pay you. You don't have to pay me. Okay, then fine. We'll barter. Okay, you help me do this, and I will uh, watch Paige so you and Marty can go out on a date night. <gasps> date night. Oh, I think it's too warm to do a soup. Jonathan, you've got to get going. You're having people to your place this evening. Oh, right. Uh, hey, thank you again, Rosemary, for all your help. Oh. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. All you have to do is go home, meet the caterer, and she will take care of everything after that. All right, great. Uh, Yo, uh, what was the, the name of this caterer again? Oh, I tried to get Mr. Schuster's caterer, but they were busy. But I think I found someone much better. Thank you, Kim. Yeah. All right, see you Monday. Oh, have a wonderful time. Well, yeah, I'm aware of that, but Mr. Schuster handed this deal over to me when I made partner. Okay, if we're going to get this done in time, I need you to help me out here. Yeah. Yeah, okay, can you get it on my desk by Monday then? Okay. 
Ja? Ja. Oh. Oh. Ah. Next. Dan, hang on, hang on a minute. Hi. Hi. Are you, um... I was hired to cater a party, but, uh, maybe I have the wrong address. Um, I was hired by a woman named Rosemary Cole. Yeah, yeah, Rosemary's my secretary. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, right, come on in, come on in, please. I just, I gotta, I gotta finish this phone call. The kitchen's that way, okay? Great, thank you. What was that all about? That is the lawyer from the elevator. No way. Ugh, he is so cute, and he loves you. Please, seriously. Libby, this is no coincidence, okay? He orchestrated this whole thing so he could see you again. Probably to apologize. All right, so you know they're off. Okay, okay. Well, um, let's... Let's talk about this on Monday, all right? Uh, let's say before noon. Thank you. Um, listen, I just wanted to say sorry about the confusion. I... Oh, it's... Libby, it's, it's nice to see you again. It's nice to see you, too. Um, I, I wanted to introduce you to my best friend and sous chef for the evening, Tessa. Hi. Hi. You okay? Yes. I was, uh, I was looking for, like, a, like a vase or a, or a platter. Mm, no. No, you're not gonna find anything like that here in this house. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, no offense, but your place is kind of... I could use a few warmer touches, maybe like a platter or... Flowers. Yeah, flowers or candles. I mean, would it be okay if we... No, no, of course. Just add it to the bill, I mean, whatever you guys need. Oh, okay, great. Um, Tessa, you want to run out and grab a few things? Yes. Perfect, thank you. Do you need a hand? No, thanks, I'm good. Okay. Nice meeting you. Yes, you too. Look, Libby, I I just want to say I'm sorry about the other night. Oh. You know, I, I didn't want to be rude or anything, but I, I just didn't know how to handle it or, or what to say. And I, I wish I hadn't ignored you. I just, I wanted to apologize. Thank you. Do you really want to make it up to me? Yeah, of course. All right, well, um, you said you always wanted to learn how to cook. Well, I, I don't want to mess up my own party, so... I'll be right here. And I could really use the help. <laughs> okay. so you, uh, scooped the garlic up in there. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Just... Oh, wow. Yeah. Perfect. Now, if you want to add these garbons or beans in there to the food processor. This is the food processor? Yes, that bowl right in front of you would be the food processor. Okay. I'll add a little salt. Uh, if you would squeeze the juice of this lemon. Thank you. Just make sure you don't have any uh, paper cuts or anything. I learned that the hard way. Mm. Okay. What exactly are we, are we making again? Um, I'll give you one guess. Okay, so we have garbanzo beans, lemon, tahini paste, salt, pepper, garlic. Any idea? No. <laughs> Maybe you should just taste it. Okay. I'm a little nervous because I was involved in, in making this. Oh, hummus. <laughs> yes, congratulations. Oh. You know what? This is actually a very big deal. We should celebrate. <laughs> we should celebrate this moment. Well, we can open this before everybody gets here, right? Oh, then it's your party. Okay. Um, glasses are, are behind you. Oh, okay. Ready? Okay. Of course, yeah. I can't believe we made home. That's very proud of you. <laughs> okay. To a successful dinner. Hello? Hey, 
What's up? How are you, sir? How are you? Catherine. Catherine. Jonathan. Pleasure. Nice, nice to meet you. You guys, come on in. Wow. Hey. Hi. Cynthia, how are you? I'm well. I'm not used to Nick bringing my dates to my doorstep. <laughs> well, you know. So, go ahead. Come on in. What do you think? Wine? We have some hummus prepared by your host. Wow. Oh, and he cooks, too. You're a chef. Uh, well, Libby is a great teacher. She actually walked me through it. So don't worry, you won't be poisoned. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, come on. It is good, yes, very surprising. Wow. wow. Hey, go ahead, yeah. Okay. Who's the big blonde? A date. I mean, he did apologize for the other night. Whoa, 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 whoa. A date? Yeah, I know, right? Wow. Oh. Delicious. You know something? Maybe he is like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, like he said. You know? Nice to you in the elevator, then rude to you later. Asks you to cater a dinner and then bring someone? Thank mm -hmm. you. What yeah. else do you make? Excellent. Um, I make... It doesn't matter. I mean, it's fine. Okay, you know what? No. Hey. This is a great opportunity for you as a cook, and that's what it's going to be. Thanks. Yeah? You're right. You're right. Yeah. But I know I'm right. I'm always right. Go after it. Of course. Jonathan, impressive. Impressive. Yes, thanks for inviting us all. How about a toast for our hosts and having us over? Certainly. Thank you. Very lovely of you to have us. Sometimes Chris is a bad place. Oh, like we have been enjoying many, 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 many meals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you get some more wine? Uh, no, I think it's just for the server. And the heavy yard, but there you go. Thank you again. This is amazing. I'm glad you liked it. It's great. I do appreciate it. Tomorrow we start early, huh? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Okay. So I was saying. Thanks. Nice meeting you. All right. Good to see you. Thank you, sir. Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo. Bravo. It's been a lovely evening, but Monday morning, we're back at it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, Libby, thank you again. Everything was delicious. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Do you guys need help with anything or? Oh, no, we've got it. I'm almost finished here. Uh, you know, Tess, why don't you go home? You've done so much. Just, I think that is a great idea. Yeah. Jonathan? It's nice to meet you. Pleasure meeting you, Tessa. Thank yeah. you again. Thank you job. so Sweet. much. So good. Thank you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. You're welcome. I'll just, I'll let myself out. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Um, so who do I, I make this out to? Oh, uh, Liberty Taylor. It's L-I-B-E-R-T-Y. Yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, Libby, listen, now that you've worked for me, um, I was just, I was wondering if it would be uncomfortable if I, you know, uh, asked you out. Is, is that okay? I, yeah. Yeah, I would like that. Well, 
Uh, why don't we start right now? Let's go grab a glass of wine and celebrate this amazing dinner you put on. I hate to go. Great. Tell me. Okay. It's gonna be all right. Everything will be all right. I need to know. It'll be all right. Gonna be all right. Good morning, Rosemary. Good morning, Jonathan. Ah. Well. Um, I don't know how you did it, but you got me a second shot with Libby. Turns out she was the caterer. Oh, really? Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Well, it's a small world, isn't it? Yeah, it is a small world, isn't it? We actually have a date Friday. Do you really? Well, that is wonderful. I am so happy to hear that. Where are you two going for your date? Uh, well, she loves to cook, so I was thinking maybe... You know, nice restaurant. Oh, nice restaurants. Well, I know. You should go to the Beverly Glen Hotel restaurant. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's where we met. Oh, it's beautiful. Coming up. Hey, Alyssa, what about you? Who do you get? I get a lot Jonathan. of Jonathan. Hi. Oh, Cynthia, Catherine, how are you? Good, thanks. Lovely dinner the other night. Oh, thank you. Your caterer was terrific. Yes, she was. Is. Is. Maybe we should have a drink tonight. Cynthia, I... I... No, I, I get it. It's okay. Um, I'm actually late for a meeting. I, I better get up there. But I'll see you around. Okay. Yep. Bye. Mm. Wow. Public blow off? Sweeney, you will never believe what just happened. Um. Catherine said you blew off Cynthia. What's that about? First of all, I did not blow her off. Okay, she understood. You're the one that's upset. Secondly, Nick, what is there to break up? We went on one date. Technically, it was two. Yeah. Point taken. Counselor. You are being a sore loser. I guess someone else was a better matchmaker than you. Who? Jonathan. Jonathan chose for himself. Who'd you choose? I am going on a date with Libby. The elevator girl? You chose the elevator girl over Cynthia DuPont. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Jonathan? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice, Rosemary. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this one. This. What do you think? Oh, very sharp. You could wear one of these on your date with Libby. Yeah? Well, I hope she turns out to be everything you want because you deserve that. You deserve something good in your life. Rosemary, I have a lot of good things in my life. Okay, you include it. <laughs> but everything good in your life you've had to work for. Be nice if somebody was just there for you. And besides me, of course. I would like that. But I like to work. I always have. I don't know, sometimes I just think that's what my life is about. Jonathan, I know it feels that way now, but you are going to see there are so many things in life besides work. Beautiful. Well, wait till you see what we got planned. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ready? Mmm. Okay. This food is delicious. Yeah. Well, I thought you'd like it. <laughs> so have you always lived here? Uh, no. I grew up on the East Coast, actually. I studied law, went to a very preppy school there. Really? Yeah, my mom thought it'd be a good opportunity for me. Um, of course, she didn't have to wear the you know blazer and tie to school every day. But you know, she was right. In the end, it served me well. What about you? Did you did you grow up here or go to college here? No, didn't do the college thing. I kind of took more of the life experience route. I traveled a lot. I went to Europe. I took a sculpting class in Italy. 
I worked at a pizzeria there and I learned how to toss the dough. <laughs> yeah. Um, I worked at a farm in the south of France and learned how to make goat cheese. Goat cheese, I love goat cheese. Yeah, yeah. me too. I sketched the rooftops in Santorini. I lived on the beach in Australia. Waited tables there at the beach and learned how to surf. Then I kind of finished it all up with an actual vacation in Hawaii. And then I uh, came home. That's amazing. Wow. Uh, what do you do after a world tour like that? I went to massage school. That makes sense. Cheese, surfing, painting, massage school. Um, <laughs> and now you're back to finish culinary school. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Hopefully I will graduate and get a job. And I mean, if I can figure out what they put in the sauce, um, I'm pretty sure it'll all be worth it. Well, to new adventures then. Tears. So, uh, you know, being a race car driver wasn't looked on by my mother as being very practical. I was trying to be a doctor or a lawyer. And I chose the latter. And, you know, fortunately, I, uh, I passed the bar before she died. I'm sure she was very proud. You know, so what about you? Well, I moved around a lot when I was a kid, so that made a new school every year or two. I became very good at making friends. I mean, I can talk to anybody. <laughs> well, yeah, that's obvious. You're, you're very good at it. <laughs> Are you saying I'm talking your ear off? No, no, no. I'm just I'm saying. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you know, as a lawyer, I'm used to listening, and uh, you make this easy. I'm very happy to hear that. Um, so, with all the moving around and and starting over, you're probably pretty close to your parents, huh? With my mom, yeah, yeah. My dad split when I was three. And he traveled a ton. He was a trucker. He worked in an oil rig off the Gulf of Mexico. He led hiking expeditions in Alaska and the Grand Canyon. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that must have been hard, though, you know, not having him around. No, no. I mean, he always wrote me postcards from his travels. He was an adventurer. He's one of my big inspirations. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I hope the restaurant wasn't too stuffy for you. Oh, no, it was perfect. I loved it. Well, good. Um, so does that mean you'd consider going out with me again? It definitely means that. Definitely. I like that. Okay, well, how about this? Why don't you pick where we go on our second date? Oh, I can do that. Well, thank you again. Yeah, um, good night. Good night. at that place are over $500 a night. Oh, what would that on. meal have cost? I know, but that's not the point. Tessa, you took me there because you thought I would like it, and I loved it. Okay, it's just that, that usually you hate those kinds of places. You're always yeah. saying that you pay more for the ambiance than you do for the food. Oh, the so. food was delicious. Oh, I had the best time. Okay. Okay? Okay. Look, I know this isn't normally the kind of guy that I would be interested in, but oh, there's just something about him. I really wish you could just be happy for me. I am happy for you. Really? I will be. Thanks. Now fix your sheet. <laughs> we need to get the uh, details for the bell offer done by no later than tomorrow, and I'm slammed. Can you finish it? Yeah, yeah, sure. So, your little date. You took her to Beverly Glen? Yeah, seemed perfect. And was it? Yeah, we had a nice dinner. You know, walk around the grounds a little bit. She's, uh, easy to talk to. Huh? I just hope no one saw you with her. Nick, I like this girl, okay? Get the bell stuff done. Hi, um, are you Rosemary Cole? Yes, I am. Hi, I'm Libby Taylor. You are Libby Taylor, huh? Yes. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Oh, 
you just missed Jonathan. He just ran out. Oh, no, actually, I was counting on that. Oh. I didn't want to freak him out by showing up at his office, you know, after our first date. But I did want to tell you thank you. Thank you so much for giving me my first catering gig, and I don't know if you realized it, but it also gave me a second chance with Jonathan. Really? So, um, I brought you lunch. Oh, my goodness. You have to be the sweetest person on the earth. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I haven't ridden a bike since junior high. You are kidding me. That's terrible. Oh, it's so fun. You're going to love it. And it's great exercise. I mean, what could be better? Uh, you sure? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi. We'll take two, please. Thanks. You fit my style. I fit your To be a professional model car painter instead of a lawyer? Uh, well, I don't think that that job exists, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll admit, you know, things are a lot more stressful now that I made a partner. Now, not to mention the fact that I can't mess up. Do you ever want to just leave? You know, try something new, start fresh? Well, no. No, I mean, I love my job. I actually think starting over would freak me out more than making a partner. We gotta remember, not everybody's cut out for a life of adventure like you and your father. What'd you say he did again? He, he dug for oil and herded cattle and drove trucks and hiking instructor or something. Libby? What's wrong? Was it something I said? No, no. Just, yeah, about my dad. He left. What? My dad, he... He left. I know I said he was this great adventurer and that, you know, I admired him, but... It doesn't change the fact that he chose that life over... over me. I mean, a lot of people say that raising a kid is the greatest adventure a dad can have. I guess he wasn't brave enough for that one. Libby, look, everybody that meets you can't imagine not having you in their life. Okay? Trust me, I speak from experience. Next. Wow, this place again? You must really love it. I mean, not that I'm complaining. Oh, well, I, I want to show you something. All right, I have a little surprise. Surprise? Yes. I surprise. Sweetie, I need this in 10 minutes, so I will really fast. Thank you, appreciate it. Jonathan, you made it! <laughs> 
How are you? Good to see you. And this is? This is Libby. Libby, this is? Rebecca Banks. I mean, Chef Banks. Wow, it is an honor to meet you. Uh, Rebecca is a client at our firm. Jonathan thought that she might like to do a little cooking with me today. Wait a second, are you serious? I, I, I would love that. Well then, let's get to work. <laughs> Good surprise. Good surprise. <laughs> that was amazing. That was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you liked it. But, you know, it doesn't have to be a, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. What do you mean? Well, I mean, Rebecca liked you. You know, and she seemed very impressed by your cooking skills. Really? Yeah, Libby, I bet if you finish culinary school, she'd be more than happy to give you a spot in one of her kitchens. And I happen to know that she's opening a new restaurant. We just closed the deal. Wow. No, think about it. I mean, you'd make an excellent chef, Libby. Plus, you know, just my, my personal opinion, uh, I think you'd look pretty cute in one of those hats. Yeah, especially the big, poofy one. <laughs> yes. Those Thanks. were awesome. Hey, thank you so much for doing this tonight, Marty, and I really needed a night out. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you've just been so busy with the lawyer guy. Jonathan. Yeah, if you actually met him, you'd probably remember his name. I have met him. No, oh, I know, but I mean, really meet him. I'd love for you to spend time with him. All right, all right, all right. You ready to go, Squirt? Yeah. Let's go. You got your stuff? Yeah. Okay. Bye, Aunt Libby. Bye. See you later, Bye. girls. Thank you. And then... Keller isn't so sure about the Bell Corporation anymore. After, after we logged on over a thousand hours of that deal. Well, I mean, he's nervous that the company's not going to be his company anymore. Yeah, he needs this, but he wishes he didn't. Wow, to create a company and then have to sell it, I mean, that must be hard, right? If it were us, we'd be ambushing Keller with positive press about Bell. Uh -huh. Well, we've done our due diligence on this thing. I mean, he knows about Bell. It's just, it's cold feet. That's all it is. Well, of course, but the bottom line is that they're a good company. I mean, they've made some noticeable charitable donations this year. Not to mention an even more noticeable problem. It. You know, people like working with them. You should want to be in bed with them. I think you'd find it rather cozy. Sweet, you're not a lawyer, Cynthia, but you, you know so much about this. Yeah, well, I'm the vice president of a public relations firm. Man, with analysis like that, maybe we should hire you ourselves, huh? <laughs> As if you could afford it. <laughs> you have no idea what I can afford. Oh, um, sorry. I guess I liked it. Do you want another drink, Lip? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Thanks. Um, if you'll just excuse me. Soda? Yeah, perfect. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it. So, Jonathan, I'm a little surprised to see you with a girl like Libby. I mean, she's lovely, really. It's just surprising. Yeah. But I'm, I'm really happy. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hmm? Excuse me. Did you miss me? Terribly. And I'm sorry, all, all we've been doing is talking about business. Oh, no, it's okay. So, you, you have all my attention now. I do? Yes. You should drink. Thanks. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Good catch. Whoa, hey. stay spinning. You get to stay hey. spinning. Hey. Hey, happy birthday. Hi. Hi. Oh, this is for the birthday girl. <gasps> but wait, I do just have a question. How does it feel to be so old? I can't even remember being 
five anymore. Because it was so long ago, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to say thanks? Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Now go put those on the table with your other gifts, okay? <laughs> so, where's Jonathan? He's here. He he's hanging out with Marty. Ooh, you left him alone with Marty? Well, we gotta fix that. <laughs> so, uh, Libby tells me that, that you're a lawyer? Uh, yes. I'm mainly in M.A. at uh, Shusha Baron in Clyde. Uh, what, what about you? What do you uh, do? I'm a plumber. Uh, Sullivan pipe preservers. Yeah. That's cool. Well, thanks, thanks for having us. Cheers. Did you see the Dodger game last night? I think Manny cracked it out. Uh, well, I, you know, I work so much, I don't really have time to follow baseball. But it's great sport. Oh, no, it's, it's awesome. Hey, girls! Ugh. You done playing already? Oh, this thing was thirsty! Hey, birthday girl, I want you to meet my friend Jonathan. It's nice to meet you, Paige. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, now, Paige, forgive me, I, I don't know you very well, so I was just wondering, are you a princess every day or just today on your special sixth birthday? No. I'm a princess every day, but I don't show it off all the time. Only on special days. <laughs> well, I think that's a good idea, Princess Paige. Because it's your birthday. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. I've got this old 57 I'm fixing up. It is gorgeous. Hey, Jonathan loves cars. Tell him. Oh, no. Uh, well, not exactly. I, I paint model cars. Uh, you mean like kick cars that you fix up and you can ride? Uh, no, uh, models. Like, uh, you know, um, toy cars. Uh, classics mainly. I mean, they're not for playing with, of course, but they're for display. Oh, babe, tell them about the one that I painted. It uh, started with a V. Viper. 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 Oh, man, a Viper. Well, you guys remember Mr. Chavez from the old neighborhood? He had that Camaro <laughs> that he said had a Viper engine in it. He said he found it at the dump. The old man couldn't get that thing to go above 40. It was awesome. <laughs> I wonder where he is. Oh, perfect. <laughs> So is this the best birthday party you guys have ever been to or what? Pretty much, yeah. I think so. Mm. Did you try to kick it? I'm getting more. Now, well, yes. <laughs> Dude, this has nothing to do. Oh, I can't even tell you. Here you go, sweet. Did everybody get a piece of cake? You got some cake? We got a lot. We need a paper towel. Everybody needs a paper towel. There we go. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're fine. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. There, enjoy. It's calorie free as Of course. Yeah, it's all going to be right now. Hey, Liv. Um, I don't mean to sound harsh, but I don't, uh, I don't think that your Jonathan is having a very good time. What are you talking about? He's having a great time. Oh, this is a really fun party. Oh! Uh, God. Let me call you back, all right? Oh, Nick, I'm, I'm not in the mood to hear your comments about Libby, all right? Dude, we have bigger issues. You inverted the stock price on the Keller Agreement. Instead of $51 a share, this says that the Bell Corporation is buying out 60% of Keller's stock at $15 a share. Huh. You think Keller was skittish before? Huh. With these prices, he can't even afford our fees. Did the partners see this? No. I caught it first. Listen, John. I get what you see in Libby. I do. Trust me, I have dated my fair share of party girls. Libby is not a party girl. But you're a partner now. Okay, now is not the time for you to be getting distracted or making mistakes. And, and I know you're going to think I'm a jerk and a snob for saying this, but come on. Libby is never going to fit in your life. <sighs> I mean, wouldn't the nice thing be just to end it now before it gets too complicated?
Jonathan? You all right? Hmm. I don't know. I... I mean, remember when you told me that you have to pay attention to certain people who enter your life? Sure I do. I mean, how do you know if that person is the right person? You know, what if the best thing to do is let them go? And, and how can you tell the difference? Those are all good questions. Is everything okay with you and Libby? I don't know. I just, I, I lead a very structured life. And Libby is the exact opposite. Yeah, you know, I'm not used to that. Well, that can be a good thing. You can learn from each other. And Jonathan, you know, the answer to a good relationship is compromise. Yeah. It's, just, it's confusing, you know? You are the one that solves problems for a living. <laughs> well, million dollar mergers seems like child's play compared to this. Oh, I better get going. I have an early meeting in the morning. All right. Oh. Sorry. Oh, hey, I keep forgetting to ask you. Um, Marty and Tessa have uh, two extra tickets to the Dodger game tomorrow night. You want to go? I can't. I have uh, dinner with clients tomorrow. Oh. What about the next night? Um, no, I got a catering gig. How about the next night? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Um, uh, no. Actually, I'm out with Nick that evening. What about this weekend? Well, Friday night I'm uh, DJing a Sweet 16, and then Saturday I'm cater waitering at a wedding, and then Sunday is the spa. I mean, Liv, don't you ever want to pick one job and stick with it? I don't know. I mean, why should we have to pick one thing? One thing can be so boring. I know. I just, I worry about you, you know? It's like if life was an ocean. I mean, most of us are, are constantly swimming towards something, you know, some goal or a, a plan, and... I don't know, you just kind of let the current drag you around. Just because I don't have everything planned out like you do, I mean, that doesn't mean I'm being just dragged around. <laughs> Look, everyone is afraid to fail. Okay, but you're never going to succeed unless you fully commit to something. I mean, I know you feel like you're probably protecting yourself, but you're really just missing out. That's just your opinion. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. I mean, you spend all this time planning everything. You don't even end up living anything. All right, I don't want to argue. No, it. we're not arguing. Okay. I don't want to argue. I just, I want you to be happy. That's all. I am happy. I mean, aren't you happy? Of course. Yes. Okay, so then let's just be happy. Okay? <sighs> okay. Oh, and make sure we have lunch together. Okay. I'll see you. Okay. All right. Hey, is Jonathan ready for lunch? Oh, he's not back yet, Libby. Oh. Okay, get this to Richard upstairs, ASAP, hey. all right? Can you get O'Donnell on the line, please? Hey, are we still going to lunch? Oh, Libby, I can't. All right, something came up. I'm, I'm sorry. Weren't you just saying there's more to life than work? I mean, there's nothing so important. I can't wait an hour so you can get something to eat. Actually, that's not true, all right? This entire deal could fall through within the hour it takes me to go to lunch with you. My job is very important to me, Libby. Please try to understand that. Rosemary, do you have them? Line two. Thank you. Hello? Yes, Mr. O'Donnell. Yes, yes, I got the contract right in front of me, sir. I know these aren't the numbers we agreed on. I know, I'm not happy about it either, but I talked to his assistant and, and I don't know what happened, but I'm gonna fix it for you, sir. I'm on it, don't worry. You have nothing to worry about, thank you, sir. Rosemary, did Libby call? Okay. 
I'm sorry. What are you doing right now? Spending time with you. Oh, there's Jake's. Oh, they have the best burger in town. Want to go? Yeah. Mm. Wow. Good. No, we didn't know it when we left on our adventure today, but apparently we were on the hunt to find the world's greatest hamburger. Mm, have some fries. Hey, whoa, whoa! What are you doing? That's my fry, actually. It's fun. Fun. Thank you. I can share. Okay. You're missing out on the fun of riding You're spending half your life deciding What exactly you should be looking for Like a stream, we're rolling right along Like the wind, we'll blow right by, we're gone Like a storm comes crashing in the night We're opening a window to the light Hello? Jonathan, where are you? You missed the conference call. What? I had to tell Mr. Schuster that you got food poisoning. Uh, I can't believe I did that. I, I lost track of time. I went on a drive with Libby. We went to this town and... What did I say? She is a distraction. Nick, stop, all right? Whatever. And don't let anyone at work see you eating seafood for a while. Yeah. What happened? I missed my 5 o'clock conference call. You made a conference call for today? Yes, I had to. It's for a client overseas. Come on, we gotta go. Sorry, I yelled. All right, it's not your job to consider my work schedule. Well, I mean, no, it's not. When I'm with you, I lose track of time. I, I can't focus. Is that such a bad thing? Well, it's not a good thing, Libby. Being with you, it's like, it's like you take me out of my world, okay? And in some ways, that's great. But in others, it's not. All right, I just made partner at my firm, which means I gotta pay more attention to my work. I mean, I made a huge mistake on another deal, and now this. Well, maybe today is a sign that uh, we should take a break. No. Libby, that's not what I'm saying. I just, I don't want to fight. I mean, it's just too hard. What's too hard? Libby, it's our first fight. You know what, though? No, this makes, this makes perfect sense, okay? Something gets challenging or difficult, and you want to quit. That, that's a big surprise. Hey, that's not fair. It's completely fair. Libby, you quit everything you start. I do not. Look, I get that not everybody wants to be a corporate attorney. All right, I get that you're creative, but then finish something. One thing, all right? Massage school, culinary school, plan little kids' birthdays for a living. I don't care. Just pick one thing. You know what? Because you, you can't. Because everybody in your life is okay with you being this free spirit, you know, floating from one thing to the next. And that's great. That's great, Libby. But I thought you could be more than that. And you know what? I was wrong. I was wrong. You're childish. All you want to do is have fun, and you never think about the future. The future. God. You know what, Jonathan? All you do is think about the future. You are so concerned with what is coming next that you don't even, you don't even live your life. Life isn't about your perfectly tailored suits and your perfectly organized desk and your promotions. That's not life. Life is a mess. And that's how it should be. You know what thinking about the future has gotten you? It's gotten you this sad, sterile condo. Uptight and all alone.
Do you have any messages, Rosemary? Oh, yes. Um, I noticed Libby didn't call. Is everything okay? No, actually. We broke up. Oh, Jonathan. Just send her flowers. You know what? I know she likes Gerber daisies. Rosemary, let her go. All right? I did. I said, just, just take it easy and we'll work it out, all right? No. <laughs> I, I told them twice. I said twice, just forget about it. We would take care of it. Let me call you back. I'm at the office. Hey, Johnson. Alan, I want to let you know I'm looking to take on some more responsibility here at work. So, I mean, whatever you got, throw it at me. Well, I don't know if you've heard any of the rumblings, but we are expanding our international business. Was it going out of the London office? Tokyo. And I'm thinking about sending you. So give it some thought. But say yes. It's a great opportunity for you. Thank you, sir. Okay, great. We'll see you then. Thanks. Um, I just made a 3 o'clock massage appointment for you. Is that okay? Yeah. Marty can pick up Paige from school. It's okay. All right. Rosemary. Hi. Hi. Uh, this is Rosemary, Jonathan's assistant. This is my best friend and boss, Tessa. Hi. She's the one I told you about. Oh, yes. Well, she tells me that you are the best at what you do. Thank you. <laughs> uh, are you here for a massage? Oh, no, dear. I, uh, <laughs> I'm actually here to see you. Oh. Well, Jonathan is just miserable. And he is being stubborn and he won't call you. And, well, I was hoping you would call him. I mean, I know you girls do that sort of thing now, right? Yeah, we do. Look, under other circumstances, normally I would... I'd have no problem calling him, but... Jonathan and I were really just not right for each other. Oh, no, Libby. You don't really think that, do you? Yeah, I do. But I will definitely see you again. That's a promise. I hope so. Okay, well. Bye, sweetie. Thanks. You okay? I guess. You did the right thing. It's time to just forget all that, really. Do you mean quit? Yeah. Well, okay, so your constant need to flee actually comes in handy for once. <laughs> that Rosemary seems like a really nice lady. She does. It's just that she can't see Jonathan for what he truly is, you know, a total corporate stooge. <laughs> you could do so much better. He's not a corporate stooge, okay, Tessa? He's not a rich jerk. He's not some snob. You don't have any idea who Jonathan is because you never actually spent the time to get to know him. Libby. And you know what? You think it's so great that I'm a quitter? Well, you will just love this. I quit. Hey, John. We're all going out for a drink. Come on. Uh, Nick, I can't. All right, I still got a lot of work to do. Uh, how about no? Okay? Stop moping around. You, me, drink now. I'm buying. Black and white. Shades of gray into the night I put pen to paper and I write I sleep it off, I'll be alright Crawling
Jonathan McIntyre's office. Rosemary. Hi, Cynthia DuPont. Oh, yes, dear. Hold on. Jonathan, it's Cynthia, and she... Cynthia, uh, Jonathan is actually in a meeting with the partners. Sure, sure. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye. Goodbye, dear. Too old for this. <clears throat> Paige is too old for that. <laughs> okay, that's done. What do we got over here? Junk mail, junk mail, junk mail. A work schedule from six months ago. And um, seriously, Libby, this doesn't even have a picture in it. No, no, this one. This one's important. Junk catalogs. Junk, junk, junk. Tessa, I gotta tell you something. I've been really mad at you. Oh, Libby, hey, if this is about the whole quitting thing... No, it's not about the quitting thing. I still quit, by the way, <laughs> just for the record. <laughs> but, uh, I just felt like no matter what, you just didn't want Jonathan and I to be together. And as sad as I am that we haven't been able to work it out, I just realized that we're never going to unless I make some changes in my life. I know that's all you were trying to get me to see, so... I just want to say thanks. Hey, by the way, guess what? What? The Keller Bell merger? Yeah. Done. <gasps> Jonathan, congratulations. Thank you very much. And I want to host a party. Take care of it. I'm going to meet Nick for drinks. I will take care of everything. Thanks. That right. sounds fun. It's pretty great. Rosemary. We have to talk. How do I look? Oh, you look so handsome. I'm very proud of you. Thank you again, Rosemary, for everything. You better go. Good yeah. to see you again. Yep. All right. Thank you. Here are the directions, and you should just find it about five miles. Perfect. Bye bye. You. Good to see you guys. So, uh, I'll do a uh, Jack and Coke, please. Libby. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm great, thank you. What are you doing here? Well, it turns out with all of my past jobs, I had a lot of contacts with florists and caterers and photographers, so I started my own event planning company. Wow, that's... That's great. Thanks. I love it. Makes me really happy to be with people when they're celebrating something special. Um, if you'll excuse me. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. Thanks. Jonathan, how you doing? It's 
good. Um, Alan, I know this isn't the best time to say this, but I'm gonna have to turn down your Tokyo offer. Really? I'm surprised. I thought you'd jump at the opportunity of heading up your own operation. Oh, sir, this this means so much to me, and I thank you so much for even giving this opportunity. But um, I just I have some business I need to take care of here first, if that's okay. Of course. You know you're invaluable to us. Jonathan, you have to go after the things you want in life. Yeah, I know that now. Okay, I'm back. Shall we eat? I'm starved. But you never get bad. Just pour me some more wine. <laughs> By the way, you're paying for this, you know. <laughs> oh, Jonathan, maybe Jonathan. Oh, excuse me. Hi, um, James, will you get uh, Mr. Sweeney another drink? It's a scotch, right? Uh, yeah. Scotch. Libby. Great party. Thank you. Oh, and congratulations on the merger. <laughs> Thanks. And you know the whole you and Jonathan thing? You guys should be together. I'm sorry it didn't work out. Especially because I kind of had something to do with it. I kind of thought you were a flake. I told him to stop seeing you. I was wrong. Thank you, Nick. Libby, I just, I wanted to say that this is amazing. All of this is amazing. Thanks. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry I ambushed you. I mean, I knew you would be here. It's kind of the reason I took the job. I just really wanted you to see that I could be something. Look, Libby, you've always been something. Hey guys, good to see you. All right, thanks again for coming. Jim, see you Monday? All right, I'll have Rosemary call you about that. Hey. Hey. Cynthia. Uh, thank you for coming. Ah, thank you for having me. It's pretty obvious that there's still something between you two. Shouldn't let her get away. Well, thank you. I want to say goodnight, Nick. You're leaving? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to overstay my welcome. Impossible. <laughs> the night is still young. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'll buy you a drink. You already have a drink. Shall we? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> welcome to the Beverly Glen Hotel. Are you Doug? Yes, I am. How can I help? Hello, Doug. I am Rosemary. I was hoping that you could help me with something. Rosemary. something I could take? Sure. Why are you planning a party? 
No. I'm planning a life. On to HallmarkChannel.com for behind-the-scenes footage, interviews, and more. Elevator Girl on Hallmark Channel. Log on now. Good thing you have no personal life because you're not going to have time for that here. She was driven by success, but nothing is more intoxicating than falling in love. It may have just been the biggest mistake of my life. Julie Ben stars in a Hallmark Channel original movie, Uncorked. Premiere Saturday, March 6th at 9, only on Hallmark Channel. And now, a Hallmark Channel...